Bob Lamb here again at the boathouse, Old Tom's boathouse, and that lodge over there was a bank den last year used by the beavers. And last October through March, uh, Mike Roskus, he's a seasoned trapper, and we had to get rid of these neat nuisance beaver and so we came down and we got five of them three really really nice ones they ranged anywhere from 45 we had two 45s two 50s and one 60 pounder and trapper mike kept the hides sold those for a few bucks and I got all the meat and had a big beaver feed. And then uh, we kept the uh, tails also for uh, fish bait. They work good for fish bait too, especially for ice fishing. But there was another thing that we got off the beavers. I did. <laughs> it, was, it was quite unique. Usually I have my old walking stick here. It's an old... Uh, elm that I cut up at the friendly farmers farm when I was deer hunting and I just use this it's not too too much of a stick at all and I always thought about debarking it and really making it nice but I didn't but when I was here last fall baiting and checking traps every day I saw something out of the peeking out of the snow and lo and behold what did I find but this it's a part of a swamp maple and it's there my debarking's all done for me you can see how they've really chewed it up and they didn't do a real good job. I'm going to have to sand this down, all the, the uh, knuckles on it and that. But it's, it's a nice stick. It's a great walking stick. I thought, there, I got four things now off these beavers. So uh, I thought you might want to see that. And I told you I'd be... Uh, Bringing, it, bringing something else to show you what the beavers gave us. So, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again. Until we meet, have a great day outdoors.